how's everyone doing? It's good to see you both. Yeah, it's yeah, great good, to see good. you too. It's good to see you. Um, you know, Brooklyn, this is interesting because I find, and Little Wing's a perfect example of this, you know, movies and TV, one of the best things is kind of introducing you to different kind of worlds that maybe you weren't familiar with before. And I feel like with Pigeon Racing, this is a perfect example of one of those. Is that your favorite thing about being a storyteller specifically, diving into these worlds, introducing people to new worlds? Mm. Yeah. I would say my favorite part of being a storyteller is being able to convey through new worlds um, general themes that can be played out really beautifully and help people understand more about themselves. I mean, I think through this movie in a really beautiful artistic way, people will find out new things about themselves. And I think that's what storytellers do. I think that they're helping people and themselves understand the world around them. And um, I think that's really for any sort of industry, um, but especially for the storytelling world. Mm. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Simon, I want, you can add to that quickly. Bro. I just wanted to kind of know is, yeah, you can add to that. Absolutely. I saw, I saw you wanted to say something. <laughs> yeah, no, a, a big thing for me as a storyteller is I like to tell stories that will motivate people to change, you know, for the yeah. better. Mm -hmm. And I really like real and, um, and real and authentic stories like this one specifically, which is why I'm so grateful I'm part of it. Um, it gives people a, an example of what you can do to get out of like situations that are so relatable to everyone in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I really like that these, these movies can motivate people to change for the better. Yeah. I want to ask you both this, bro, let's start with you. What was going through your mind when you read the script and pigeon racing was kind of involved with this specifically. I'm just curious about that. I thought, is this a made up sport? <laughs> yes. Um, but no, it's real. It's very real. And I knew it was a thing, but I didn't know much about it, but I knew it was a thing. So I, yeah, it's huge. huge. It's a huge sport. And the, like the Royal family does. I was like, Whoa, it, it's so crazy because it makes you realize about the world that there's so many things that, you don't yeah, yeah. know about or that you just don't think of initially that change your thought process and it's learning about stuff that you never even knew existed so then you kind of think what more is there out there that yeah, i yeah. don't that i don't know about cool. so it was really eye opening and it was something that i'm really grateful that i'll be able to pass down my knowledge to random people about absolutely <laughs> Simon to add to that about the movies about sports I find it interesting because in a lot of ways, a lot of sports movies, I feel like you're watching two movies because in a lot of ways, this movie is about pigeon racing. And in a lot of ways, this movie is not about pigeon racing, right? It's about self-reflection, growing up and everything. What do you think about that? Does Do you ever think about that sometimes? Like, if you, does it, did it feel like working on two movies a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. But um, my character didn't, like have so much to do with the, the pigeon racing aspect of it. Yeah. So mine was more so on the other side of the movie where finding yourself, finding uh, your your worth in the world. Um, but yeah, no, when I got to observe her playing with pigeons and, and learning all about that, it was cool. It was really, really cool to, yeah. to see both sides of that. Yeah. yeah. Brooklyn, do you know what I mean about that? Like, you could look at it as a movie about pigeon racing, or you could look at it as a movie about growing up that has pigeon racing in it. you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, um, though, John Gaten's and all the wonderful, beautiful, creative minds behind this and, you know, Dean and the editors, I think that they really were able to beautifully combine this movie so that it feels like the two um, subject matters go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well said. No, that's really well said. It's streaming soon on Paramount Plus. Little win. Thank you both so much for your time. It was so great chatting with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.